We put up a poll and asked you guys to vote for your favorite Jewish singers. So many of you voted it literally took weeks to tally up all the votes. But here it is. Today, we're ranking every Jewish American singer based on your votes. Now, the boys choirs aren't on this list, but they'd no doubt be very high if they were. 35th place is Nussin Zan, followed by Naftali Blumenthal in 34th. Next is Waterbury Masifta, Mati Ilowitz, and then Levi Falkowitz, taking the 33rd, 32nd, and 31st spot. Number 30 is Zusha. Zusha just released a brand new album, and they even have one song they did as a collaboration with star Israeli singer Ishai Rebo, called Lifa Dodi. Zusha have been slowly building themselves up, and with their unique style of music, it's no doubt as to why they've grown so much. 29th place goes to Eitan Freyle, followed by Shlemy Gertner, who takes 28th place. And then, there's David Haziza. JewishHawk.com has an entire interview with David Aziza after his song Matanot blew up overnight to over 100,000 views, so be sure to check that out. Number 26, Ellie Marcus. Ellie is related to the Avram Fried family of musicians, but he hasn't been so active in the industry recently. Number 25 is David Lowy. David is known for his unique inspirational music, similar to Ari Goldweg's style. 29th place goes to Eitan Katz, who is her new album. Eitan is usually one of the more popular singers when it comes to stats like subscriber counts or followers on Spotify. But on this list, he was voted to the 24th spot. Number 23 is Michal Przansky. Michal Przansky, or Prus, is well overdue for an album, and we can see him move up on the list once a new one comes out. It's been about five years since his last real album, so who knows if we'll see a new album from him soon. Number 22. Danny Palgon. Danny Palgon is a friend of Mordecai Shapiro and a new singer. His music video, Bo, did amazingly for a brand new singer, and Danny already has put out two full albums. Danny's voice and music style is quite unique in the Jewish music industry. And not only that, but he composes too. The way he's going, he will likely rise higher on this list, and may soon even end up in the top 10. Number 21, Nisim Black. Nisim is known for his unique style of music as well. He's been releasing a lot recently, but now it's time for the top 20. Number 20, Shalom Lemmer. Shalom Lemmer has over 20,000 subscribers on YouTube, but one of his music videos even got 1 million views. Next at number 19 is Nachas. Nachas has been releasing singles recently, with a new one every few months. Some fans are hoping Nachas will release a new music video or album soon, but it could be a while. Next, number 18, Moshe Tischler. Moshe's first album took off, and a second one is on the way. The popular Abba Gadol track, along with his spectacular video, Shows us what to expect for his second album. Looks like he's really gonna become a household name pretty soon, if he isn't already. And who knows, maybe he'll even be the next Simcha Liner. So many people say Moshe sounds like Simcha Liner, after all, so... Number 17 is Lipa Schmelzer. Lipa Schmelzer has released over 15 albums to date, and is one of the biggest names in the Jewish music industry. Number 16 is Ari Goldwag. Ari is one of a number of singers who sang in the Miami West Choir as a child. He is known for his acapella albums that he releases during Sphere, but recently has been making a big push in his regular music. He released the HD Hakol in 2020 and is already following it up with another album. Ari Goldweg has been doing a lot of collaborations recently in what seems like an effort to try and promote a lot of new singers. Ari is one of the biggest composers in the industry, known for composing some of the biggest hits of all time, including Ivri Anochi, Lechal Zeh, and Yesh Tikva. Number 15 is Shmuley Younger. Shmuley made it to the top 15 this time and has some new music in the works. Shmuley is best known for his wedding dance songs and is one of the hottest wedding singers today. Number 14 is Barry Weber. Barry is one of the biggest names in Jewish music and some of his music videos are insanely popular. Barry has almost as many subscribers and views on his YouTube channel as Mordecai Shapiro and fans are hoping for a new album from him soon. Number 13, Uri Davidi. Uri's newest album is just around the corner and if it's anything as big as his second album, we could see him move up on his list even higher. Uri is another amazing singer that does extremely well on streaming platforms and with music videos. Uri's YouTube channel has over 12,000 subscribers and his two music videos from his Muhanim album have a combined view count of over 3 million views. Number 12, Yoni Z. Yoni fell out of the top 10 recently, but with his new music videos Crown and Bowie and his second album Around the Corner, Yoni will no doubt move up on this list soon. Yoni is one of the most talented Jewish music singers, and he does really well with music videos too. Jewish Hack did an exclusive interview with Yoni Z where he reveals information on his new album, so be sure to go check it out. Yoni's music video for The Crown has over 200,000 views and his YouTube channel itself has over 11,500 subscribers. Number 11 is Joey Newcomb. Joey's been singing for a few years already and is already working on his third album. Joey has a bit of a different music style that's unique which makes him different from other singers. 
Joey also did very well on a few music videos, including the famous Thank You Hashem video, which he did in collaboration with Moshe Storch for the Thank You Hashem project, and another being the Mika Amcha video that he did together with Benny Friedman. Number 10, Mordechai Ben David, or MBD. Mordechai Ben David just made the top 10 and is getting ready to release a brand new album. MBD is referred to a lot as the king of Jewish music, as he has been singing for many years. MBD has been slowing down as far as releases recently, but with his new album coming out soon, he's sure to come back with a bang. Number 9 is Baruch Levine. Baruch recently released his second off the record album and has now made it into the top 10 too. Baruch is really Reb Baruch because he's a Rebbe too. Baruch is known to make a slower toned down style of music, and it's especially good with slow songs. If he releases a brand new album, he may go up even higher, but for now he does remain in this ninth place spot. And at number 8 is 8th Day. 8th Day released their album, Lucky, a few months ago and managed to make it to the 8th spot on the list. 8th place for 8th Day! Jewish Hawk has an interview with 8th Day on JewishHawk.com that you don't want to miss. The 8th Day music video for Lucky has already over 100,000 views and their YouTube channel just hit 30,000 subscribers. Number 7 is Dobie Shapiro. Dobie has only put out 4 songs so far, but still he's made it into the top 10. It's not for nothing though. Dobie's very first song release, Lech Al Zeh, got over a million views, rare for a brand new singer. Dobie isn't just a regular singer, he's star singer Mordechai Shapiro's older brother and also sang in the Miami Boys Choir. Dobie's other songs and music videos are also extremely popular and were some of the biggest Jewish music hits during the years they were released. His first song, Lech Al Zeh, and his second song, This Is My Home, both did great and were composed by Ari Goldwag. Many people are waiting for an album from him because they love his style of music. Now, we haven't heard anything official about new music releases from Dobie anytime soon, but we do hear that he is due to release something in the near future, so we'll have to wait and see for that. Number 6, David Perlman. This is kind of a shocker, but somehow David Perlman has managed to make the top 10 again, even though he's so far only released one solo album. David is yet another singer who was in Miami Boys Choir, in fact as a soloist, and sang on the Miracles album. Now, over here we like to talk a lot about David Perlman, because we see a lot of potential in him. The voters seem to agree because he's once again in the top 10. Now, the reason we think it's possible for David to rise up is because he composes a lot of his songs that do really well. When a singer composes their own music and it does really well, it sets them apart from the other singers and gives them an extra talent and tools some other singers can't boast of. David Perlman's most viewed music video is Skaver Shali video with just under 200,000 views and only time will tell what's in store for David in the future. Now, we're going down to the top 5, but first, click the link in the description to vote for your favorite singers for use in a future video. Number 5 is Simcha Liners. Simcha was almost in 2nd place last time we did this video, but now he's fallen to the 5th place spot. He is due for an album though and has been in the works for almost a year, so once that comes out he should see a pretty big bump. Simcha is known best for his slow singing and talented voice. Pisgili and Ribono are some of his best performing songs. Simcha doesn't really compose, though his music videos are quite solid with his most viewed video, Ribono, having a little over 2 million views. Simcha has only been in the industry for about 10 years and is still on the way up. His last album released almost doubled his subscribers, with a new one on the way, so only time will tell the rest of the story. Number 4 is Avram Fried. He is known to many as the father of Jewish music, and it's not for no reason. Avram has been singing for so long. Avram Fried doesn't have any crazy music videos or anything yet, but his slow song Abba managed to get played so many times that it's in the top 15 list of Jewish songs that were most listened to. And not only that, the song's lyric video has almost 5 million views on YouTube. Avram Fried is actually about to hit 100,000 subscribers, making him what would be the only second ever Jewish American singer to hit that milestone just after Shreki last year. Although Avram hasn't released a new album in a while, he's been releasing singles every now and then. However, if he releases a new album though, he may bump up on the list. Number 3 is Benny Friedman, another singer who gets a lot of songs from Ari Goldback. Benny is related to Avram Fried and is widely regarded to be one of the best Jewish singers. He doesn't really compose and doesn't release music videos so often, but... When he does, they go viral. Benny still simultaneously holds the record for the fastest growing Jewish music video ever, along with the most viewed Jewish music video ever. And not only that, but three of his music videos are in the top 5 most viewed Jewish music videos of all time. Every Enochi has over 22.7 million views in just 5 years and is the only Jewish music video to ever cross the 20 million view mark. Benny has Every Enochi as well as some other hit songs such as Yesh Tikva from Ari Goldwag. It's funny how Ari composes the hit songs for other singers that end up higher on the list than him. Benny is closing in on 100,000 subscribers and it looks like he will be the third Jewish American singer ever to hit that milestone. While his new Harsha music video is not necessarily his most popular yet, it has well over 1 million views already. 
so it is growing. Benny Friedman is also due for a new album, and we'll have to see if he can hold the third spot, or maybe even move up on the list once that comes out. Number 2 is Jakob Schwecki. Jakob Schwecki has been known to be a top singer for many years. He's been singing for ages already and put out too many albums to count. Schwecki was also the first Jewish American singer to hit 100,000 subscribers and get the plaque from YouTube, and his most viewed music video is one of the most popular ever, at 9.4 million views. Schwecki is known for being a great performer and really owning the stage, and is extremely popular in Jewish music, both in America and in Israel. The second place spot has been tight for a while between Schwecki and Simcha Liner, but Schwecki jumped ahead. With Shrekki's new album, he is up in his rankings, and according to information we hear, his next album is already in the works. Though Shrekki has been around for a while, as we said, he's been going really rapidly, especially in YouTube subscribers, and at this rate, it would take a while for any other singer to really beat him in subscribers or similar stats. Even with his new L'Chaim album, he couldn't really take the least in first place yet, though it did come close. Now, number 1. Mordechai Shapiro Mordechai took first place with a crushing lead. Morty's only been in the industry for a little over 5 years and has transformed it so much and so fast that he went from being a top 20 singer to the best in 5 short years. Morty composed many of his biggest hit songs such as Machar, Hakol Mishimayim, Biachad, Abba, and Eno Mubando. Morty not only composes but he works with other composers to bring in different styles of music so it isn't boring. Morty has over 45,000 subscribers and he also hits the ball out of the park with basically every single one of his music videos time and time again. Morty has set many records in the Jewish music world, and with his fourth album around the corner, it seems he can only grow bigger. Let's see what happens next. Does a new top star come and beat Morty, or does Morty stay number one? Does Shrekki take a stand at number one, or is Mordechai Shapiro the new king of Jewish music? We'll have to wait and see. Thanks for watching.